Hey everyone, I am Bethany, and this is going to be, um, I want to say a DIY, but not, well, yeah, I guess it is a DIY, but I did my own take on what a student agenda should look like. I don't know. I kind of used my kids' student agendas from their public school last year. Now, if you're new to this channel, I am homeschooling my kids for the very first time this year. I am super nervous, but so excited all at the same time. I'm not quite sure exactly what we're going to be needing this year so I may have just gone a little bit overboard just a smidge overboard but I'd rather go overboard than not have enough plans or you know not have done enough so um that's just something about me I tend to do things overboard I tend to research too much stuff <laughs> that's just me I can't help it but I want to share with you um, the student agendas that I have made for my kids. I'm only going to show you my son's agenda um, because my daughter wants to do a video on her agenda, but she wants to wait until after she's used it for a few weeks or a month or so um, to kind of show you how she's implementing her agenda, how she's organized it and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of show you what I have done to create the this uh, student agenda. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be alright. There is one problem I think that they might have, but I'll go in more in depth here in just a second. But I just want to say that I made all of these um, pages myself. It took me a month, well about a month, a little under a month to finish both of their agendas. Um, so I'm just so super proud of myself of getting these agendas done. I did take inspiration. Uh, from a few different sources. Um, the first and the main source that I used that well the, the main thing that I kind of I won't say copy because I really didn't copy from it. I just took bits and pieces of what I liked about it and kind of made it my own um, is their school agenda that they used in public school last year. I did look through it. There was some good things about it but a lot of bad things about it. And we did use it, well, I did use uh, their agendas with both children, so we've used it throughout the whole entire school year. And there was just a lot of things that I didn't really like about it that I wanted to fix in my own uh, student agenda. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, well here, I'll just show you my son's agenda. And um, I just used pictures that I found online of things that he was interested in this year. And as you can see, he's interested in Skylanders, Minecraft. He His favorite adventure is the Hulk, so he loves the Hulk. And he's big on Star Wars, like really big on Star Wars. He has loved Star Wars ever since he was a toddler, I want to say. And I think the biggest reason is because my dad is into Star Wars, so probably the reason why he just loves it so much. Um, but this is just the front cover. The binder that I'm using is an Avery Heavy Duty binder. It is in the color red because that's one of my son's favorite colors is red. He did pick this one out. I like the Heavy Duty because, um, and I'll show you inside, but it's just durable. These things last my kids. I use the Avery Duty durable binders last year but only because they were a lot cheaper uh last year um they did not they survived the year but they were in really bad condition um so i splurged on their binders this year and just paid the extra few dollars for the for the quality um but yeah this is what his cover looks like there is no back cover i didn't see the need for a back cover but if they do want a back cover I can make like a class schedule and they can stick it on the back of their binder so for like I don't know if we're like in a library and someone's just curious about what we do they can just show them their class schedule I don't know we'll, we'll see I want to turn the camera around so you can see inside okay so again this is the his front cover all right so when you open the binder has got two pockets in the front and it also has two pockets in the back and this is the main reason why I like the Avery heavy duty binders is the one click open and close mechanism. I really like that. And this is just a title page. Um, I typed this up just in case um, 
my son loses his agenda my daughter also has one as well it's just um, and I'm just covering up my phone number here just in case some um, someone finds his agenda and maybe at the library or whatever they'll know to call me letting me know that he um, misplaced it so yeah that's it in my state I have to name my home school and we decided to name our home school Stone Valley Academy and I went kind of overboard and made up a mascot and we have a school vision and school mission statements just like a regular public school would have and also I did a code of conduct a grading scale a homework policy and honor roll policy so yeah I I kind of went overboard but I like I said I just can't help myself here I have a 2014-2015 school calendar and I do have a key at the bottom let me know um, I've already got our school year planned out now whether it goes this way or not it's, it's yet to be seen um, there I did leave a little bit of a wiggle room just in case you know we get sick or um, vacation comes up or anything else comes up um, I did leave room to where you know we can change some stuff around if we if we need to but I just got this here as just um, a blueprint of our school year. Each month has its own color and September's is this like real medium blue color here. And um, I did put in like dates like school starts on the second for us. That's just the date that I chose to um, start school. And then the 7th is Grandparents' Day, and then the 23rd is the first day of fall, things like that. So I have the monthly calendar up here, and at the end, or at the beginning of each and every month, um, I want my kids to set monthly goals. Maybe they want to um, have better handwriting. Maybe they want to study more on uh, vocabulary or something, or maybe they want they have math goals, whatever. I want them to write their own goals here and I just put a, a, a notes page and there's our mascot again I just kind of threw it in there um, now this is not anything I'm going to be putting on a t-shirt or anything this is just for our personal use only so yeah um, I just made this a note page so if they need to jot down any kind of notes anything that they you know can't fit on their monthly calendar or they don't want to put in their agenda part they can put here and this is how the agenda the, the by week it's a weekly agenda this is how I've got it set up um, I did use I took the idea of my planner if you've seen my planner um, review video um, then you know my planner is bulleted so I kind of took this that concept and kind of made it a little bit better so they can write um, all their schoolwork and they can label it by putting math you do such and such page or they can color code it with uh, different um, colored ink or whatever I'm not sure how my son's going to do it probably just label it he's probably not even going to worry about color coding anything but um, this is how I have Monday through Wednesday set up and Thursday and Friday is on a separate page and I also put in enough space for all their spelling words that we're going to have this week so they can reference their spelling words and I also threw in Saturday and Sunday slots here that you know maybe they have something going on the weekend that they want to put in their agenda or maybe I need to put something in their agenda of stuff that we got going on that's not school related so yeah each month is pretty much set up like this it just goes on october is kind of like a pumpkin burnt orange color i tried to stick with boy colors like if it's purple it's like a dark purple color but mainly his is red and reds and blues because those are you know some of his favorite colors and another blue for december each month have has its own um has its own color that way they can distinguish like um, some some months at the end see it will have March going ending on Tuesday and April 
let's see, starting on Wednesday, so that way they can see the different color and know, okay, yeah, that's this it's the start of a new month. So it starts in September and ends in August. I did that because we are gonna be a year-round school. Our last day of school is actually gonna be the last day of July. That gives me plenty of time to you know, if, if we are running a little bit behind or, you know, it gives me plenty of weeks to, to help them get ready for their EOGs because my state requires them to do EOGs. So, um, it gives me plenty of weeks to kind of review over stuff and whatnot. And I threw in August in here just in case they have anything that they want to put in here as well. So, yeah, this is kind of like their planner, but it's going to be more school oriented than personal though all right and here's just a back page um i found this quote somewhere on pinterest i think and i just really liked it so i topped it up in the font that i'm using for my son here and i of course i used you know boyish colors too and this is an all about me page uh, at the end of the year i want them to fill this out to show you know how far they've gone you know they got their age grade height weight and this is where they're gonna i'm gonna put their pictures their favorite stuff and you know some other things in there and last but not least is their contact information page i don't Oh, I do have a quote back here. Okay. So, yeah, I had one page for their contacts. So, if they meet anybody, let's say we're out in the park and they meet a friend or or we're uh, doing a homeschool co-op, I'm, I'm trying my best to find one and get in contact with them. So, I'm going to be doing a homeschool co-op. So, you know, we're not going to be stuck at home every day. Um, we are going to get out there and socialize and get involved with the community and everything. So, yeah, um, I just put some contact lists here just for kids that they meet while we're out. And just um, the last page is just another quote I found on Pinterest as well. So, yeah, um, my, my daughter's planner is very similar, similar <laughs> to this one. Um, but hers is, of course, more girly, and uh, she likes color, so hers is extremely colorful. Um, so, yeah, her video is going to be um, about a month into her homeschool. I think she wants to show you how she's using her agenda, how she's organizing it and everything, and, and so I think that would be a good follow-up video. So this is my point of view. And I did want to point out the one bad thing that I wish I would have um, made a little bit bigger was uh, the spacing. I think it's just a little too scrunched together. I don't mind them using three or four or five lines for a subject. That's fine because there's there's plenty of lines. They'll I don't think they'll run out of space. But I wish I would have made these a little bit wider. And um, that's my only complaint about this and it, of course it's my fault because I'm the one who made these <laughs> pages but yeah Amber's video is going to be more of a follow-up video you're you're really going to get her perspective so you're going to get a student's perspective on this agenda and this agenda did take me a long time to make but I think it's worth it I think but basically it really wasn't hard I did use Microsoft Word for this and if you know the program pretty well, you should you should uh, kind of figure out how I ended up doing this. I'm just kind of showing you inside. But yeah, um, I did throw this together. I did a little bit of research before I started in. I kind of had an idea exactly how I wanted it to be laid out. And luckily, um, I have a printer that does front and back page. It prints front and back, so that was easier for me. So um, yeah. So, if you like how I set up this agenda, go ahead and comment down below or give this video a like. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I do a lot of organizational things. I'm starting to really get into organization. And I do have quite a few ideas. Um, I just haven't implemented them yet. I'm trying to take baby steps on the organization. Um, so, yeah, this is my kids' agendas for the 2014-2015 school year. Thanks everyone for watching, bye.